Another childhood favorite franchise I'm going to go through is Auntie Anne's. They have soft pretzels, lemonade, uh, other beverages that they sell in their locations throughout the United States. Annie Anne's was founded in my birth year in 1988 by husband and wife Anne and Jonas Bieler. As of 2022, they have 1,126 franchise locations as well as 12 company-owned locations in the United States. Owned by the same parent company as Cinnabon, and that company is owned by Rourke Capital, a $33 billion private equity fund. NEN's competes against other businesses like Krispy Kreme, Crumble Cookies, Wetzel's Pretzels, as well as their sister company, Cinnabon, as their direct competitor. Annie Ann's franchise costs range anywhere from $146,000 all the way up to $520,000. The initial franchise fee is going to set you back $35,000. You've got to have a minimum liquid capital of $100,000 to open up an Annie Ann's, as well as a net worth of at least $300,000. You're going to pay royalties 7 to 8%, which is a little stiff for food and beverage. The average is 5.3%, so over 2%, 3% more than the average for food and beverage. The top quartile is doing pretty well in terms of the top 25%, they're doing sales at $980,000. So they're probably you know making 150K, 200K per Auntie Anne's. But if you look at the bottom quartile, they're, they could be losing money for all, for all we know, making $350,000 in sales. I'm sure they're barely making uh, their expenses with, with that top line revenue figure. The average though for the whole system, 636,000 for NTNs, and then the median's 597,000. The midpoint investment now, if you wanna open up an NTNs is gonna be 334,000. So estimating a you know 15% profit margin on 600K in sales, you're looking to be making about $90,000 with any ends. So you gotta sell a lot of pretzels, $600,000 worth of pretzels is quite a lot. Uh, we estimate you getting your money back in five day years, which is pretty standard for, for food and beverage, but nev nothing to get so excited about. Now, when it does come time to sell your any ends, unless you're passing it on to your, your children, based on an investment amount of 334,000, it's gonna be tough to recuperate your capital. We estimate and we've seen that they're selling more like $200,000, $250,000. It's different if you're selling five, selling 10 locations, then yeah, it's probably worth it. You're probably going to make a good return on your investment as long as they're in that top half of performing franchisees. And Auntie Anne's for the franchise war is a very profitable business. So the parent company of, of, of Auntie Anne's had retained earnings of $174 million in 2021. That's compared to $160 million in 2019. They saw an increase of about 9% from 2019 to 2021. However, Auntie Anne's, they've lost over 100 locations in the past three years. Now, while their sister company, Cinnabon, has added three, added nine locations per year, Auntie Anne's been losing 30, losing 40 locations over each of the past three years. Over 100 units have closed down. So not sure if you want to be uh, jumping on uh, this descending plane just yet. Definitely talk to a few franchisees, see how happy they are with the brand, as well as talk to some former franchisees of Auntie Anne's to see why they left the system and if it is an opportunity that you should potentially explore further.